guys it's peace gaming and welcome back to my channel if you're returning and if you're new welcome and i am back with another video so we are back with the walking dead um we're starting episode two i'm excited um i just want to say i did turn down the voice and the sound a bit just so you can hear me more clearly because i realized in the when i was editing the other video that i sounded a bit um i sounded very low in that video so hopefully this resolves it but yeah i'm excited to just get into it Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. And you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Um... Let's just make sure it's safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but... Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. All right, let's see. Um, I guess we have to look around, right? Um... Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Um. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. All right, okay. We just need a board and a rope. That we can do. Um, There's a gate right here, but I don't know what it leads to, but let's just go talk to him first. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Okay, I guess we need to... Wait, okay, hold on. Let's go this way. Point. <laughs> Is that all? Okay. Um, we can go through the gate, maybe. Um, let's see, what is there to look at? This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Okay. Let's see. Anything else to look at? Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Can we go inside? Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Um... Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. 
The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those fangs showed up here. It was a tough night. When will dinner be ready? It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. I don't know. I don't know. She seems awfully nice. Especially with everything going on. She just seems too nice. But let's go to Andy, I guess, and see if he needs any help with anything. Oh, is something wonder again? how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. Okay. Um Oh, there's boards over here. Could be useful if I can find some boards to cut. Okay, here we go. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Now we just need to find ropes. Okay, we just need to find a rope. Um, is there a way around here? Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Okay, where am I supposed to find a rope though? Um... Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Um... How secure is your barn? Having a safe place for the cows is pretty important. Thanks to the fence, nothing gets in here anymore. Unfortunately, the daddies took most of our cattle before we got it running. Mind if I take a look? Sure, but uh, why don't we do that after we tend to the perimeter? Sounds good. Okay, he was pretty quick to just say what you're trying to do with the barn, so I don't know. Uh, we can talk to him again, see if there's anything. I didn't get a chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right. Keep me posted. Why is he just standing there? Like, you should be doing something too. Um, why can I find a rope though? That's one thing I can't find anywhere. The board is good, but I need some rope. Yeah, I know, but I can't find it anywhere. I guess we're just gonna have to go help Andy, and maybe he can help us out. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Okay. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Uh, been stockpiling, huh? 
Huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Um... An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know? Like us. Okay, let's Mark go fix and I it. I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Okie dokie. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's you have to make sure. Off. Okay. Um. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Okay, I'm just making sure. Um, Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Okay, um, we can take the arrow. Disgusting. It might be useful later, um... Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Um, what do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Okay. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Oh, I don't know. All right, let's. Ooh, that is just nasty. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ, I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. 
Um... Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Hey, I feel like something's about to happen. Everything's just going Holy too fuck. smoothly. What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh no! Ah. I freaking knew it. What the? Get to the gate. Uh oh. Hide. Get down, you asshole! Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. You asshole um, to die. So what do we do? Like push this? Behind the tractor. It ain't right. Uh, we got Lee, hurry up. Oh, 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 oh. Go down, go down, go down. <laughs> um. Wait, I just seen something here. Oh, it's over there. I see. Did you really think you can fuck with us? Um. You got lucky that time. time. Oh crap! All right, I think we should be able to push it now. We should be able to push it now. Come on. Still not moving, really? Okay. You fucked with us. No, go back this way. It was right here, wasn't it? I th what else do we have to do? We really did that. Um, can you guys like chill? Yeah, it's not. What is blocking it? Is there something on the floor? Um, I've seen something here before. Oh jeez. Give us the food. Damn. Quickly. We'll see you. Well, I'm trying to figure out what's blocking it. Oh, there it is. Come on. If we can reach the gate. I was trying to figure out what's going on. The house. Ah, they're on the move. Shit that hurts. I can do this all day. Yeah, we're just going to stay behind the tractor. Oh no. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we you pushed down assholes. earlier. Gonna have to move it. Where's our food, you yeah, you're really helping. Helping. How are we gonna <sighs> Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. There's another one, really. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? It wasn't this much. It was literally just two. Okay, um. Pull it out. Oh, crap! Oh, my gosh. I thought it was dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Yeah. Quick, Barely. move it. Come on. The gate's right there. Quickly. Don't think I can't see you. Don't care, we're trying to escape. Thank you. Whew. I already got one of you. So now what? You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. Okay, we escaped because, baby, I wasn't sure what was going on there. Yeah, so I'm going to end the part right there. Um, 
if you guys have any suggestions on other games you'd like for me to play just leave a comment down below and i'm gonna keep recording and putting out videos back to back for you guys um so that you know you can enjoy this gameplay with me um I hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay. I know it's an older um, game, but I'm enjoying it so far and I've been wanting to play it for a while now. So yeah, I'm really into getting into it now. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified for more videos coming. And yeah, bye guys. Stay safe. Peace out.